Members of the class of 2020, parents, guardians, faculty, and friends, good evening. I'm Mark Larson. I'm, proud, I'm the proud principal at Lincoln High School. I welcome you to the 2020 Lincoln High commencement. I'm honored to be joined on stage by our senior speakers, Parker Johnson, Elijah Riley, and Rakshana Islamova, Lincoln Public Schools Associate Superintendent, Dr. Eric Weber, and Lincoln Public Schools board member, Lanny Boswell. Please welcome them. Before we begin, I want to thank the many parents, guardians, faculty members, and friends for your attendance today and support of the class of 2020. It is now my honor to give the microphone to our student speakers, Elijah Riley, Parker Johnson, and Rakshana Islamova. First, please welcome Parker Johnson. Parker will be attending Park University, and her speech is titled, Embrace the Surprises. Welcome, friends, families, teachers, staff, and class of 2020. My name is Parker Johnson, and I'm a senior at Lincoln High School. First, I want to thank all of the staff, teachers, and community members that made it possible for us to be here today. I also want to thank all of the parents and guardians for supporting your children throughout the past 12 years of school that led to this moment. Lastly, I want to thank the coaches and teachers for being our biggest motivators and some of my closest friends at school. I remember walking into the main doors of Lincoln High School, not four, but just two years ago. I came from a decently small town where I went to school with the same people for 10 years. I did not know what to expect coming into the most diverse school in Lincoln. After watching teenage high school movies for years, to my surprise, never did I feel like the new girl or an outsider. From my first Festivus to homecoming to Link Crew Freshman Day to eating lunch with my teachers, I knew this school was a special place. Lincoln High is a place where you can participate in any club, sport, or activity without judgment. Coming to Lincoln High School has given me the edu education to take me to school at the next level. It has given me the opportunity to play sports at the next level. And very importantly, it has shown me the expectations of how I should be treated. The most valuable thing that being a Link has taught me is to look at people and hear their story. I have learned that everyone has a story, and no matter how crazy or ordinary you think your story is, it's yours, and you should share it. Something that Lincoln High continually has going for it is its diversity. Here, you get to be friends with people who are completely different from you. People who come from totally different backgrounds and even different parts of the world. Our diversity is not only culturally, it's within our mindset as well. I recently watched a TED Talk by Michael Gavin, and something that stuck out to me was when he said, having a diverse mindset of knowledge can help us prepare for the uncertainty of tomorrow. You see the world through your eyes only, but Lincoln High is a place where one can begin seeing life through multiple perspectives, with discussion and action. Lincoln High has taught me to think beyond the mindset that focuses only on myself. I hope everyone here has adopted this mindset as well. It has made it possible for me to accept the intricacies and complexities of the world. One thing I believe we have all learned this year is we really have no idea what challenges we are expected to face. One of my favorite quotes is by Dan Gilbert. He once said, one constant thing in our life is change. He said this almost five years ago, and it is still, possibly even more, relevant today. It is our time to take the next step forward. Believe in yourself as we are all capable. We are now at an age where I can confidently say we are able to make a change and choose our own future. I'm extremely thankful that we are all here today. Despite many odds going on, we still managed to graduate and have this ceremony. I am proud of all the teachers, the staff, and the family. I am proud of all of you, and I am proud to be a link. Thank you. Thank you, Parker. Next, please welcome Elijah Riley. Elijah will be attending UNL, and his speech is titled, If I Could Build a Time Machine. How you guys doing? My speech is called, If I Could Build a Time Machine. I often wonder if I could build a time machine, where would I go? 
I play with this question in my head all the time. Would I go to the distant past or maybe even to the future? There are infinite possibilities that I can't even fathom. I could go back and see the pyramids being built, see what it was like for the first settlers of America, listen to Beethoven compose beautiful symphonies, ride horses in the Wild West, see the storm of Omaha Beach, march with Dr. Martin Luther King and be a part of the Civil Rights Movement, watch the first man walk on the moon, or just to see what it would be like in a time other than my own. But I've always kind of liked the idea of the future. It's so eerie and unknown. I could go there and figure out who wins the next five Super Bowls and come back to current day and become a rich man. I can figure out what my life has planned for me, what my future career will be, if I'll have a wife, if I'll have kids, maybe even some dogs, and who knows, maybe I'll have a couple pigs. But I can tell you this for sure. If I could build a time machine, I'd go back to freshman year. I would tell myself to treasure this time. Over these next four years, you're going to go through some of the best of times and some of the worst times. You're going to question a lot. You're going to wish this chapter in your life could just move on and you could grow up. Don't. Don't do that. Because looking back on it, you're going to wish those days had never ended. Those days at the lunch table, messing around with your friends, cracking jokes and being loud, until Coach Bo comes over and says, hey, knock that off. Or when you're walking down the hallways and you can hear Miss Hardy's keys jingling and jangling all the way from the other side of school. Or when you're having one of those bad days and you finally get to the class with one of your favorite teachers and your attitude doesn't complete 180. Even all those grade level assemblies with Mr. Larson talking about grit or having us compete in the rock, paper, scissor championships. It's the little things over these next four years that you're going to miss. Now I'm not going to say that things like homecoming and prom isn't fun because they're a blast. But when it boils down to it, those events cannot hold a candle to the big picture of high school. All those memories you're going to make, all those relationships you're going to start, all the homework you forgot about doing, and all the times you thought nothing can get better than this, and yet it did. All these things, the good, the bad, and the ugly, will form you into the person that you had never expected that you would be. Now to my fellow seniors. The next steps we are going to take will lead us to destinations unknown. Our future is blurry, and where we will be in five years, no one knows. But I want all of you guys to live the rest of your lives to the fullest. Appreciate every moment in life, even the ones full of sorrow and remorse. Because everything happens in life for a reason, and will continue to make you the best person that you can be. I'm going to end this with a quote. Faith can give us courage to face the uncertainties of the future. That came from Martin Luther King, Jr. With everything going on in the world, we don't know what tomorrow will bring. But as long as you stand tall in the face of adversity, you will overcome everything in your way. We did it. We graduated. I have faith in every single one of you guys to achieve greatness. Always remember to have faith in yourself. Forever posted on JBlock, God bless, and big gumdrop out. Thank you, Elijah. Next, please welcome Rakshana Islamova. Rakshana will be attending UNL, and her speech is titled, Lessons. Hi, everyone. I hope you're all doing well today, mentally, physically, and emotionally. I wrote this speech not knowing if I'd be presenting it to all of you in person or through a screen. But regardless of where we are, my message to all of you stays the same. A pandemic that we thought would take one or two months from us took the last half of our senior years. And for that, I'm sorry, none of you here deserve that. We were all looking forward to something, whether it was prom, club, sports, or just the attention and recognition we would have received as seniors. And although we can never get any of that back, we'll forever be able to tell people that we were a part of the class of 2020. The class that faced and overcame a pandemic, the class that was forced to leave their school without a proper goodbye, and the class that was thrown into confusion yet expected to finish with normalcy. But we did it. We finished. We're all here today, aren't we? The chapter of our lives that started 12 years ago has finally come to a close. 
and it ended with all of us accomplishing one of the biggest challenges of our lives thus far. And as we step into our futures, we are now going to face the biggest change of our lives thus far. All of us are so different as we come from so many various economic, cultural, and religious backgrounds, meaning that none of our futures are gonna look the same. But to me, that is perfect and totally okay. Because one of the reasons I, and I'm sure many of you, love Lincoln High most is because of our diversity. Because we are able to bond over and learn about each other and teach each other things that our teachers couldn't. Because while I learned the lessons of math, science, and English from my teachers, I learned the lessons of life from all of you. I learned about loyalty, betrayal, perseverance, heartbreak, kindness, sympathy, and so much more. And for that, I have all of you to thank. The interactions we shared every day made us who we are today. I started high school nervous and clueless, and as I interacted with people from all walks of life, I inhaled my favorite parts of them, becoming who I am today. You helped me create, you create the foundations I will use to build my future. We all did that for each other. And I'll forever be grateful that we went to a school that accepted everyone and instilled acceptance and compassion into all of us. And I know that all of you will take that sense of acceptance with you as you step into your futures. I'm so hopeful that as we move into the real world, we will teach each other and others of this love and acceptance and show it to all of them just as we did with each other. This semester was supposed to be the best one of our academic careers, and although it felt short, I'm thankful for the time I did have at Lincoln High. And although I'm sad to leave Lincoln High and everyone within it, I'm excited to see what my future holds. I'm excited to see what all of your futures hold. You do not make it this far to fail, so don't let this hardship or any others keep you from becoming everything you have ever wanted to be. You all have so much potential, and I hope you get everything that's meant for you. I hope good things flow into your lives continuously, and I hope your hearts and minds find more peace as time passes. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you to Parker, Elijah, and Rakshana. Let's give them a round of applause as they head back to their seats. Great words, great memories, great wisdom from some of your peers. Now I'd like to take my opportunity to congratulate the class of 2020. This class will be the next in a long line of tradition graduating classes at Lincoln High since 1871. And these students will join over 50,000 Lincoln High alumni around the world doing amazing things. At Lincoln High, you all know this by now, our links stand for four core values. Tradition, excellence, diversity, and unity. Lincoln High is the oldest of the six high schools in our city and is the only high school without a direction attached to its name. You are part of the original. And the class of 2020 has added to that rich tradition. Most high schools graduating this weekend are the first in their high school's history to graduate through a pandemic. You are the second. The class of 1919 and the class of 2020 at Lincoln High are the only two graduating classes to ever graduate through a pandemic. Because of that alone, you will forever be special in Lincoln High history. You've shown excellence throughout your time at Lincoln High as well, and I have no doubt that you'll continue to be excellent as you move on to the next stage of your life. There have been championships that you've won, clubs that you've started, but most of all, I'm proud of the commitment that you have made to everyday excellence. The class of 2020 has been awarded over $10 million worth of scholarships. Let me say that again, $10 million. And we'll be attending prestigious schools all over the country. Thank you for being excellent. I want to take a few more moments to talk about the importance of our last two links, diversity and unity. Diversity and unity at a time like this in our country. At Lincoln High, you learn the importance and value of diversity, and our student speakers today spoke of that. Some of you chose to come to Lincoln High because of the diversity in our building and to be around students and people 
who are different than you. Unfortunately, not everywhere right now in our country is diversity something that is valued and celebrated. I hope that you take what you have experienced and learned in your time at Lincoln High and make the communities that you will now go out and be a part of better and more inclusive. You know that reaction you sometimes got from people, maybe it was your friends or your family, when you said that you went to Lincoln High? That reaction most likely came from a place of ignorance or misunderstanding. The reaction is there because they haven't experienced being part of a community like Lincoln High. You have. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of where you graduated from. Share that experience and try to build and create that experience wherever you go. Our world also needs our last link more than ever, unity. In a time when we're celebrating graduation virtually and also in person because of a global pandemic, we need each other more than ever. What makes Lincoln High special is that in a community that's so diverse, we are able to find the common threads that bring us together. That we are human, that we all have struggles, that we all have dreams. The Lincoln High mission statement says that we're committed to preparing each student to use multiple perspectives and individual talents to live, learn, and work in a diverse society. If I were to break it down to two words, I think that our goal at Lincoln High is to nurture you and to empower you. We have spent the last four years nurturing you. We've been there for you, we've pushed you, we've challenged you, and we've watched you grow. I hope that as you leave Lincoln High that you also feel empowered. Empowered to be who you are. Empowered to follow your dreams. Empowered to make change in our world. Empowered to make your world a little more like Lincoln High. At this time, I would now like to welcome Lincoln Public Schools board member, Mr. Lanny Boswell. Students, faculty, family, and friends, on behalf of the Lincoln Board of Education, it is my privilege and my pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 Lincoln High School Commencement Ceremony. The Board of Education has established that the overarching goal of Lincoln Public Schools is to prepare all students to be college, career, and civic life ready with a goal of 90% on-time graduation. Each student that reaches this milestone is a cause for celebration. For school board members, graduation is a special occasion we look forward to every year. As a parent, I watched my five children graduate from LPS. I know I speak for all the parents and family of our graduates when I say to the teachers, administrators, and staff of Lincoln Public Schools that you have our deepest appreciation and gratitude. You have taken our children into your hearts and cared for them as your own. You have helped them grow and learn and thrive. We are forever in your debt. To the class of 2020, I offer my congratulations on your many accomplishments. Your class has earned numerous scholarships and awards and overcome unique challenges. You have demonstrated your talent and your character, both in and out of the classroom. As graduates of Lincoln High School, you are part of a legacy of excellence that spans nearly 15 decades. However, today is not just a celebration of what is past, it is also a celebration of your future. While graduation rates and test scores are the tools we used to measure your success in school, your success in life will be determined by how you use what you have learned. Be productive in your community. You have unique and valuable talents. Use them to help others. Continue to learn as much as you can, whenever you can, formally or informally. Wherever you are, there are always opportunities to learn. 
and take the time to enjoy that creative spark that is in each of us. Celebrate it. Enjoy this day. May it be the first of many celebrations of your success as adults. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you, Mr. Boswell. Now I'd like to introduce Dr. Eric Weber, Associate Superintendent for Lincoln Public Schools. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. It is my pleasure and privilege to share this ceremony with you today and to recognize the graduates of Lincoln High. Personally and as a representative of the school district's executive committee, graduation is one of my favorite events to attend. This is a milestone that represents a major accomplishment today and the hopes of tomorrow's futures for every one of you. And although this year's graduation is different and we recognize that, it remains a wonderful celebration of your completion of studies, a rite of passage for each of you and a special day of celebration for our graduates, families, and our educators. Let me begin by recognizing the Lincoln High teachers, staff, administrators for your excellent work. Please help me in recognizing them. <laughs> Educating young people is more than a profession, as many of you know. It is a life's calling. It defines who you are 24-7. So thank you for your service to our students and our families, Lincoln High staff. When I look at this group of students, I'm reminded once again of the impact and power of public educators. You truly change lives. You change trajectory of students. You create hope and possibility. To the friends, family members gathered here today, all the people who undoubtedly helped these graduates reach this momentous occasion, thank you. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for sharing your children with us. Enjoy this moment of well-deserved pride. To our class of 2020, You've studied many hard hours to reach this moment in your lives. You've demonstrated dedication and commitment. You've accomplished so much, both in the classroom and outside the classroom. Now we're sending you out into the world, into jobs, careers, the military, universities, community, vocational colleges. We believe we prepared you well. We have faith you will continue to make wise decisions. We believe you will continue to learn and we have been privileged to be called leaders for you. We hope you enjoy this day of celebration. We hope you leave us with a sense of pride, accomplishment, and a lifelong connection to Lincoln High and to Lincoln Public Schools. I leave you today with my admiration, my encouragement, my confidence in each and every one of you, and my belief of your tomorrows. Congratulations to the Lincoln High Class of 2020. Best wishes. All right, as our faculty ushers now start to come forward to assist the class members as they come to the stage. Uh, as we come to the stage, we have a couple of suggestions um, which should assist. Um, class of 2020, make sure you're paying attention to our faculty ushers. They'll direct you where to go. Make sure you've got your card in your hand as you come up to the stage. Parents um, and members in the audience, please hold your applause until the entire class has passed. We understand your enthusiasm. We're all really excited, but it may, might prohibit another family from hearing their student's name and taking part in that special moment. Um, reminder that there will be people taking pictures down here as um, each child is receiving their diploma. Dr. Weber and Mr. Boswell, I am pleased to inform you that these members of the class of 2020 have met the necessary requirements by the state, set by the state of Nebraska and Lincoln Public Schools Board of Education. Having met these requirements, I proudly present them to you with honor that they might receive their diplomas.
Giovanni Abarca. Rama Abdullah. Wafa Abdullah. Haifa Abraham. Kadeja Abuso. Caitlin Adams. Luz Elena Alacron. Carly Aldridge. Cassidy Allen. Mustafa Almansori. Hussan Almansori. Zain Al Nori Mareja Alonzo. Mohammed Al Twag Kenneth Amen Anna Anderson Victoria Archuleta. Gabriella Atkinson. Delante Artis. Evelina Baird. Sarah Balter. Madison Banzoff.
Seth Beatty. Monica Beltran. Madison Behrens. Landon Bish. Brandon Blair. Sir Tha Bly. Nay Blue Keegan Bowden Bryn Bradley Paige Brant. Dorcas Bosa. Ashlyn Brown. Cassandra Brown. Congratulations. Chase Brown. Congratulations. Davis Buchanan. Princess Byron. Congratulations. Thank you. Caden Cade. Joanna Kalel. Owen Calkins. Juan Gaius. Cindy Cardona Ramos. Shaylee Carlson. Congratulations. Inmar Casarubias. Daniel Cavazos.
Brian Cerritos Osugueda. Evelyn Chacon Chacon. Heidi Chavez. Cami Chandler. Kylie Clough. RJ Cook Danielle Margot Cruz CJ Colin Hannah Dolby Min Deng Keon Dow Peyton Davis Taylin Davison Kay Saw Da Giovanni De Luna Alexandria Diaz Noah Diaz Devante Salvador Diaz de Bose Travois Dixon Daniel Doe Kevin Dominguez Liam Ducey Mandy Duffy Lydia Duffy
Samantha Duffy. Aria Abrahimi. Jaden Edmonds. Kasim Ido. Jackson Eafley. Jesus Espinosa Barrera. Ellie Fetton Young. Madeline Fisher. Devon Fleetwood. Jagger Francis. Elijah Friend. Sydney Freustad. Destiny Funderhouse. Jenna Fuller. Elizabeth Garza. Whitner Gatner. Brianna Golden. Nyanga Goni. Gloria Gonzalez Cepeda. Sarah Ayil Goza. Hayden Graw. Anna Green. Madison Green.
Stephanie Green. Devin Greenlee. Ariana Gregory. Carissa Gregory. Francisco Gutierrez Guerrero. Jordan Gutierrez. Caden Hackett. Patrick Hain. Milad Haji. Trevor Hammerski. Ella Hansen. Amara Harris. Brianna Harris. Dylan Hartshorn. Sydney Hasselbach. Gazwan Haskin. Ahmo Hader. Moira Hayes. Taylor Haywood. Ashley Hayden. McKenna Hayden. Colin Henshaw. Josh Henshaw. Eric Harrell. Thank 
Cooper Hicks. Holly Huang. Livia Holbert. Natalie Holden. Jaden Hood. Malachi Hopkins. Melanie Hornby. A two Tabora two Dejanay Hudno. Gabrielle Huff. Macy Ingerson. Rakshana Ixmalva. <laughs> Elena Isley. Randy Isagira. Naya Chu Jock. Noah Johnson. Parker Johnson. <laughs> Natashell Jones. <laughs> Marina Joseph. Jure Jung. Callie Kendrick.
Brecken Killingsworth. Nayan Kong. Alina Cook. Gabrielle Cook. Myrna Corkies. Esme Crone. Cassie Karras. Wael Labucci. Thea Louise Leahy. Pa La Lar. Lane Larrabee. Bailey Larson. Dejanae Lawrence. Harper Lawson. Fu Lee. Ashley Leha. Jenna Levich. Valencia Lewis. Tadar Lu. One second. Devin Maskey. Brenna Madison. Nita Majo. Natalia Maldonado. Eco Marshall. Congratulations. 
Alonzo Julian Mar Martinez. Ivan Martinez. Mariah Martinez. Vivica Martinez. Alessandra Martinez Mendoza. Tyree Mashman. Brandon May. Marcel Mayfield. Nella Maynard. Kendall McClure. Jameson McConnell. Dakota McFarland. Hattie McGrath. Seth McKeegan. Natalia Mejia. Kaylee Melendez Rodriguez. Brianna Michael. Kaya Marie Milburn. Jaden Miles. Grace Miller. Jade Miller. Portia Miller. Naya Mitchell. Luke Moberly. Jonathan Monita. Tumu. Kairi Mu. Jackson Moody. Jordan Moore.
Amaya Mosier. Julian Murillo. Miriam Knife. Olivia Nauman. Chow Nguyen. Im Nguyen. Jackson Okereke. San O. Faiza Knife. Joel Orozco. Carlos Ortega. Cristiano Ortega. Sarai Ortega Garcia. Jesus Papalozzi. Tig Parks. Tyler Partouche. Meng Pao. Lake Prupa. Selwe Kupa. Pathu Pay. Grace Pellin. Caleb Pence. Simon Perkins. Azaria Perry. Lizeth Piscina Cruz. Mac Pugh. Thank you. 
Angelica Phillips. Say la po. Theron Polivka. Rosa Puentes. Berivan Quizili. Juliana Kotroki. Marco Ramos. Parker Razik. Joshua Rigby. A qual ring. <laughs> Elijah Riley. Amandria Roberts. Anna Robinson. Michaela Robinson. Lexis Rogers. Alex Rodriguez. Justin Rodriguez. Naomi Rodriguez. Brianna Rodriguez Rodriguez. Yvette Rosas. Jalen Russell. Isaiah Sadler. Kiara Sadler. Shayla Sadowski. Jasmani Salzar Lazaro. Isabella Salem. Shakia Salas.
Aaron Sams. Laquita Sandwinil. Jonathan Santiago Sanchez. Carl Schack. Reagan Schneider. Riley Schneider. Tyler Schumacher. Nicholas Sefapur. Reese Schreiner. I love you, Reese. Hanan Smoky. Pla Plot So. Ariana Summers. Pablo Soto. Taylor Stevenson. Wa Su. Nick Swanson. Jocelyn Sullivan. Tristan Swift. Michael Toronto. Darian Thomas. Shelby Toman. Susie Toplica. Drayshawn Towers. Camden Trevero. Iris Turek. Jacob Vanderford. Ryan Vanek.
Kevin Vasquez Perez. Adrian Vavala. Lizbeth Venegas de Luna. Santos Ventura. Mara Ventura Magana. Madeline Walker. Amanda Ward. Mackenzie Warden Pierce. Olivia West. Kalia Westfall. Araya White. Mia White Bull. Grace Willie. Ross Williams. Isaiah Winston. Lillian Whitmus. Reagan Wood. Elijah Workman. Tony Wright. Delaney Young. Nigin Zaroni. May Zastro. All right, let's hear another round of applause for the class of 2020. <laughs> to the faculty, family, and friends, thank you for honoring the class of 2020. Now to you, a final word. 
As you look to your future class of 2020, I encourage you to look back. Look back at your successes and your failures in your time at Lincoln High. May those memories give you confidence that your experiences and your education have prepared you for the greatness that is ahead of you. Look around you at the people who've encouraged you, your parents, your family, your friends, and your teachers. They were there to cheer you on and to pick you up, and they will be there again. Take those people and those memories with confidence into the future and march confidently into being excellent in whatever it is you choose to do with your life. And as always, represent your school, Lincoln High School. To the graduates, now as a sign of your graduation from Lincoln High School, will you please stand and move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your cap. Congratulations. You are now part of the continuing tradition of Lincoln High alumni and over 50,000 links that have graduated since 1871. Always meant, remember to be proud that you have been a Lincoln High link. I'm very proud of you and of all your accomplishments. Let's have one more round of applause for the class of 2020. And now class of 2020, go ahead and have a seat and we'll have a processional out of the arena. Congratulations and go Lynx.